Hey, what's up guys? Uh, real quick video for you today. I just wanted to show you how to replace the knobs on your SP404 as well as customize your faceplate with some cool stickers. Um, this is really, really easy to do, but if you don't know how, hopefully you find this helpful. And I've been asked to do this tutorial before, so obviously some of you don't know how. Um, so yeah, hope this is helpful. Um, but let's get started with the faceplate. So all you're gonna need is you're gonna need some Allen keys, you're gonna need an X-Acto knife, you're gonna need your stickers, and uh, that's about it. Um, so take your Allen key here, and on each corner of the faceplate, there are four screws. You just take those off. I already have them just kind of hand tight right now so that they come off real quick for the video. I've got bucks in my pocket. I have nothing to offer. And once you do that, the whole faceplate just comes clean off like that. Really nice how they did that. Super easy. You toss your 404 to the side. And uh, at this point, you just want to start messing around with where you want to place your stickers. Obviously, mine is already all stickered up. So I'm just going to toss this sticker from Analog Cases on somewhere. And uh, we're going to go from there. Uh, just so you can guys can kind of get an idea how we would do this. Yeah, I'll toss them, like, just toss it up there. So you wanna bear in mind when you're putting these stickers on where the holes are gonna be, especially when you're putting them down here. Um, just make sure you don't put it down thinking it's gonna look good and then you have the main part of the sticker sort of cut off where a button's gonna come through. So just bear that in mind when you're stickering it up. And now that we got that sticker on, um, we can flip this over. I like to grab a piece of cardboard and toss it down just so that I don't end up cutting up my desk. And now you can see what parts of the sticker you're gonna need to cut out so that the knobs and the buttons are, are, uh, can all poke through. Grab your X-Acto knife and just carefully cut those portions out. Obviously, I'm just doing this for the sake of the video, but if you were gonna be doing this yourself, you'd wanna take some time and make sure you get it real nice and clean. I'm just trying to rush through it so that you guys can have an idea what you would do yourself. All right, perfect. So we have those bits cut out. So now when we flip this back over, we have space for our knobs, our screen, our buttons, all that stuff. Toss this to the side, bring our 404 back, and just slap the faceplate back down. Nice and easy. Looks like it was meant to be there from the start. So then we would obviously put our screws back in, and then we are good to go. It's that simple. Really, really easy. This is one of the easiest pieces of gear to customize with stickers. That's why you see so many people have it all customized and cool looking. So the next thing is the knobs. The knobs are even easier. You literally just pull them directly off the unit. Try not to like wiggle them back and forth too much. If they're tight, just pull them straight off. Otherwise you could damage the pots. And uh, I got some new knobs from DJ Tech Tools. These are the Chroma Caps. These are the fatty knobs that I got. They come in a ton of different colors and uh, they feel just really, really nice and grippy. I like them a lot. They're a huge step up from the stock knobs on the 404. So you just take the new ones and literally push them on. It's that easy. Boom, just like that. And yeah, these knobs feel really, really good. I really like them. They're a huge step up. The colors are cool, all that fun stuff. Um, I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I just think that they're a great company that makes some really cool knobs for all kinds of gear, not just the 404. But yeah, that's that. So once you're all done, now you got a cool looking 404. That's it, real easy. Hope this was helpful. And uh, if it was, please drop a like on the video, please subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, drop a like, all that kind of stuff. Um, I plan to do a video in the future here just showing how to swap out the pads on your 404, which is more complicated than this, but 
not as complicated as you might think. A lot of people get scared by it because you have to actually open up the Pro 4, start removing some circuit boards and stuff, but it's really easy. Um, so I'll, I'll do a video showing that at some point here as well. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're into it, please check out my other beat videos and all this fun stuff and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.